My name's Jack Aitken and I'm racing with Campos Racing in Formula 2. I think the Formula 2 field is, is pretty strong this year. We've got a few guys coming up from Formula 3 who were, were strong in Formula 3. They'll probably adapt quite quickly and they're in good teams. You've equally got a few guys coming back for their third, fourth, fifth season. So a bit more experience on that side. So I've got Dan and Roy from the academy are also competing in Formula 2, but with different teams. So hopefully we'll uh, you know, not have too many encounters on track. I'm sure we'll, we'll all keep it nice and clean. I think uh, Dan's probably going to be up there with, with Dams. You've got the F3 champion, Schwartzman, who's going to be quick as well. Yeah, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. There's always a bit of competition between uh, people who were pulled together in, in the Williams bubble, so I think uh, we'll be looking for those bragging rights for sure. Yeah. The level is, is quite high in Formula 2 this year. I'm really looking forward to, to racing them. So the, the Formula 2 calendar is going to follow Formula 1 for the first eight races in, in Europe pretty much all the way through. And then after that, we're still waiting for the rest of the calendar to be released. I think in terms of the format for the weekend, for people watching at home, it's going to be exactly the same. We'll have practice quality in two races. For us at the track, it's going to be a bit different. We have more sort of guidelines to follow. We have social distancing and we have to um, be tested every so often, but hopefully it'll run quite smoothly. It's an interesting situation because we've, we've never really done that before, having two races back to back at the same track, but they're going to change it up slightly by having different tire compounds for each weekend. So everyone's going to be in the same boat a little bit of, we've got the, the track knowledge, but you still have to learn something on that second weekend and it's going to be you know, who can get on top of the tyres the quickest. I'm super excited to be real racing again. I mean, the sim racing has been great, uh, but it can't quite replace the real thing for me, so I've been waiting to scratch that itch for a while now.